Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Um, good afternoon you guys. I am gonna finally be refilming um, my luxury haul video um, because it just had some technical difficulties so unfortunately I'm gonna have to refilm it um, but before we get started with that um, I just put some wand curls in my hair and I really really like them they're looking like all Hawaiian and tropical so I think those turned out really really cute and a bunch of people asked me, this is what I use to put the wand curls in my hair. It's just a regular Conair um, curling iron that I think I got from Sally's or Target. And I just wrap my hair around it and it's actually on right now. So I'll show you. Um, I have to fix this one anyway. But, and I did have to use hairspray in my hair today because my curls weren't holding. But this is what I do. And then you just let it hold for probably like 30 to 45 seconds and these are extensions so that's another reason why I leave it on so long um, and then that's how it comes out so kind of a bad example because that one needs to be redone anyways but I just wanted to show you that's what I use to um, put these kind of curls in my hair um, they can be called like mermaid curls or wand curls so yeah this is what I use I don't use a wand so yeah um, I am wearing one of my um, new things that I bought from Agassi, so I want to show this to you. It's that little tropical looking romper that I had on, or that I had purchased. So that's how it looks. Cute. So I just wanted to show you um, that to you really fast, but let's get started with this video because it's going to take uh, quite a bit because I have a lot to show you. So. First things first, um, and this might be repeats for some of you guys who saw part one or the original, but here is the box from Tiffany & Co. <laughs> Forgive my broken nail. Um, this is a little baggie it came in. So this is one of my um, three pieces that I have from Tiffany, and I'm actually wearing it. I've been wearing it since I got it. So it's the um, double heart necklace. The silver says, please return to Tiffany & Co. And then it's the enam uh, enamel and the Tiffany blue turquoise color. And it's really, really dainty. I did get mine on a longer chain. I believe the standard is a 16, but mine, I got it on an 18-inch chain. And I really, really like it. I really like it. I think it's really feminine and pretty. So, yes, that's that. Moving right along from Louis Vuitton. Um... And these items were all purchased by me, um, and I'm not doing this to brag or offend anyone, so I just want to get that out of the way. Um, so this is the box, and typical drawstring drawer or um, pull-out drawer with a little dust bag. And so the item I got was, um, I just got my luggage tag that came on my um, Damier Pegasus, or Pegasus, however you say it. I got it heat stamped, so it says BRI for Brie, and it's in the hot pink, which I thought looked really, really pretty on the dark leather, so. Love that. Um, second, this one did film in my video, so another Louis Vuitton bag with another Louis Vuitton box, and I've already got it out, you guys, because I've been using it. Um... So it is the Louis Vuitton New Style Sarah Wallet, um, and you guys, these are discontinued now. Um, the multicolor line is actually being completely discontinued. So you can get this in like, I want to say like the mono or bringy, but not the um, multicolor. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to get it. The day that I went into the store to look at it was the day that the, my essay let me know it was the last one that they were making. Or not the last one, but that they were getting rid of the collection, and he only had one left in the store. So, of course, I had to buy it. And I did get a heat stamp, so BRI, and this item was made in, uh, it was made in France. So, yes, I'm loving it so far, you guys. I don't put anything back here, but one thing I really, really do like about it is that it has this little, um, pouch here. So, I put my coins in there. I feel a little bit more comfortable putting them there, um, instead of in here. So, I really, really like that. Okay, moving right along, Christian Louboutin, and no, we're not going in any particular order. So these shoes were personal shopped for me. Um, this is, I used a different personal shopper, personal shopper than the one that I normally use. 
And yes, the items that I had personal shop were bought brand new. So they still have tags and everything on them. So the shoes that I got from Christian Louboutin, um, these are sold out. So they're no longer available. They are the Socade. I believe they're the 120 millimeter. And this is in the suede leather in the color violet. This amethyst violet -y color is one of my favorite colors, you guys. And I just think it's so gorgeous. So... No scuff marks, never been worn. So they're very pretty. And I like them. Um, I usually take like a 37, so I went up a size to a 38, um, which I can either do like a 37 or a 38, but the 38, it fits fine, so I like it. No issues with the sizing, because I know they do run very, very small. Um, okay, so, and I'm going to stand up to do this one. Ooh. So big drawstring dust bag here. Typical for the Celine bags. It's that really thick material that kind of feels like industrial or organic material. So this item I did have personal shop for me as well. Now this item I went through the lady who I always use and she does ship from France. So all of the items, well the two items I'm going to show you came from France. Uh, so, I have been looking at this one for a while. I have never seen either of the two bags that I'm about to show you in person. Um, I saw the color, combo, the color combo, either I saw it on eBay or I saw it on Instagram, and I really, really liked it, so I just sent the picture to her, and we kind of exchanged pictures back and forth, and then I decided that I was going to go ahead and purchase it. Um, a lot of you guys have asked. Um, just PM me for her personal information. She is um, a very um, trustworthy seller. Um... And so with the pricing, how that works, because that's another question I get. Basically, the price that she sends you will include any taxes or fees, shipping internationally, as well as a finder's fee or a shopping fee. Um, so, of course, it's going to be a little more than the original because these items are sold out. Um, as you know with Celine, when they make a color combo, they only make a couple, and then they're done. So here is the one that I chose. So this is the beautiful Celine mini luggage tote in um, the tricolor, and I don't remember what the colors are called, but to me it looks like a, a, a black, um, there's like almost like an off-white, and then the middle color is more like a heather gray, it almost has hints of like purple to it, and then the straps are like a very deep brown with hints of plum. So on the front here it says Celine Paris, here's the side. This is my first mini luggage. I usually do the Phantoms, um, and I have two right now, but so far so good. I've only carried this bag a handful of times. I guess I thought it would be a lot more practical than what it actually is. So, very, very beautiful bag, and I love her so much. So here's the bottom with the feet. And here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Um, okay, so now for the next one. And my last item, which is very, very special. Um, this is also an item that I had personal shop by the same lady from Paris. Um, this one took a little bit longer to find. Um, and the size that I... Well, let me show you. Okay, so first. Here is the beautiful dust bag that she came in. So beautiful Chanel dust bag. It almost feels like a silk material. It's very beautiful. Um, so that's the dust bag. And I actually have the bag out now because I'm going to be using it today. So, ta-da! So here is the beautiful, beautiful Chanel Le Boy or Chanel Boy bag. So mine is in the color. It's not just black. I believe this color is called Black Pearl. Um, it's got like an iridescent shine to it, Let's see. Um, almost like an iridescent glitter. Um, it's kind of got like this, it's like a rustic gold toned hardware. And this is in the lambskin leather. So absolutely beautiful bag. And so of course in typical Le Boy fashion it's got the gorgeous chain there. And so there's three different ways you can wear it. So you can wear it this way, which is the way that I'm going to wear mine today. 
And the size, you guys, this is the large, so it's not the new medium, it's the actual large. So you can wear it that way. You can wear it as a crossbody bag. Which, when I went home, this is the bag that I carried at the airport, and this is how I wore it. The crossbody. And then you can also double up the straps and wear it as a shoulder bag, which is pretty darn fancy as well. So, to finish out my outfit today, because this is actually what I'm wearing today, I'm going to pair it with my Chanel Boy bag, and I have like these kind of lace-up gold sandals that I'm going to wear with it. So, another look at this beautiful bag. I'm so happy um, and blessed to be able to get these things, because some of them are very hard to get your hands on, so the lady that I work with is an angel. Love! So beautiful. So, you guys... This video did not turn out to be half as long as the other one. I hope I've answered any questions. I'll be pretty thorough in my description of everything um, down at the bottom. If you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore official dollface, all spelled out, and on Twitter at, on Twitter at Miss Red underscore bottoms. You guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I love you all.